Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. Well, we now have nine entrants for the Royal Rumble. And for the Men's Royal Rumble, we got Daniel Bryan, Bobby Lashley, AJ Styles, Randy Orton, Otis... Randy Orton? I guess yeah, that's what all he talked about on Monday. I should know that. Otis, The Miz, Jey Uso, Cesaro, and Jeff Hardy. And for the Women's Royal Rumble, we have Nia Jax, Charlotte Flair, Bianca Belair, Bailey, Mandy, Dana, Peyton, Shayna Baszler, and Alexa Bliss. I guess technically she declared for the Royal Rumble during the the Playhouse segment that she did on Monday, but she's in the Royal Rumble, but she just beat the Women's Champion. I guess maybe, since they love her, she could wrestle twice on the show. I guess that's a possibility, but... Right now, the woman who beat the woman's champion is in the Royal Rumble to get a shot at the women's champion. Don't look at me. Hold on a second. What's that face for, Mike? Before you get to that, why doesn't Alexa just, you know, wait until she's in some sort of trouble during the Rumble and then turn into her alternate character? And then that way, everybody will just be scared and jump out of the ring, and then she'll win, right? She's well, got we don't know if she powers. can be lifted. It's it's unconfirmed whether you become very heavy when you become a fiend. Like but she can, you, you can be, you can not sell anything and still get tossed over the top rope. It's different. But what if everybody else is just so scared uh, of you that they all fall into fear? I mean, and they can't lift you up. <laughs> they out fall of into it. fear. The ring oh, is surrounded by fear. Asuka obviously turned into something else when she had to deal with Alexa there. She was all freaked out and everything, and Alexa got the victory over her. Why don't we just wait for something supernatural to happen for the Rumble? I mean... I think the better logical question, Mike, is the winner of the Royal Rumble gets a title shot, but Alexa beat the women's champion. Wouldn't it be a lot easier for just to say, I beat the champion, I want my title shot. Instead, she's going to go through 30 other women to maybe get a title shot? Maybe she wants to throw fire Whatever. at the 29 other women. Whatever. You don't know. This also, is so stupid. Adam Pierce on Twitter explained that management apparently has a list of people that are allowed to declare and that are not allowed to declare. <laughs> wow. Well, it seems to be with the men, as long as you've held a notable championship, you seem to be fine. Nobody like... believes me. I'm not making this up, everybody. Uh, sorry, Mike. What? I'm not making this up. That's what he said on Twitter. <laughs> there is a list of people that are allowed well, to declare and a list of people that are not allowed to declare. Maybe. That's their storyline. So they actually have a list of geeks and I don't know what the other people are. They all appear to be geeks to me, but there's like a, a hierarchy of geek and well, Drew Gulak and, and Ricochet are in the lower hierarchy of geek that are not yeah, allowed but... to declare. Yeah, but you've been saying this for a long time. I mean, look, that's the well, 24-7 division. Yeah, I mean, look, but, like, Lashley's held a major title. AJ Styles, major title. Even The Miz has held a major title. Otis has at least won money in the bank. I mean, you seem to at least have to be able to say you've accomplished something, whereas Ricochet and, and Chad Gable, who else has been shut out of this mix? Drew Gulak, you know, those people aren't allowed in. Actually, if somebody could email me what we do know about the geek hierarchy, like, can someone send me a list of who has been allowed to declare? Like, obviously, most of the people on the list here, Daniel Bryan, Bobby Lashley, AJ, Randy, Otis, The Miz, Jey Uso, Cesaro, and Jeff Hardy. I presume that they're all on the upper hierarchy of geek because they actually were allowed to declare. But I think we know Gulak was not allowed. No. Uh, Ricochet was not allowed. No. Who else has not been allowed to declare? It appears I'm all guessing, of the women. I'm guessing Tozawa is not going to be allowed. Uh, he probably would have to win a match, would be my yeah. guess. But I don't know, because some people some people are definitely geeks, like the Lucha House Party, because they're always chasing, the, they're chasing truth. But when they go to NXT, they move into a different hierarchy, because then they just get title shots. It's so very complicated. God bless the, the, the Twitch homies here who are like, you know, what about him? Like, what about Ricochet's run as U.S. champion? It's a different lifetime ago. Bro, does anyone remember, remember that? I don't remember his run as U.S. champion. Yeah, I don't remember that. Was it was he tag champion with Aleister Black? I mean, that's been, you know, I don't think Aleister so. Black situation. That was relegated Dude, to Dude, Aleister history. Black is on the lowest level of geek where you can't even get on TV. 
Actually, that's the that's actually a higher Brian. That's not at all because I would much rather be getting paid at home with my downside, not being embarrassed on TV, as opposed to doing something I don't want to do. In in some cases, for some of these guys who have to look at that and look like geeks on TV, Are you sure well, that's the worst thing in the world? Well, let me put it this way, Mike. I I don't know anything about Alistair Black. I'd never talked to the to the bloke, but I will say that I love doing this show. And so if the, op- if the options were I can get paid and do this show or I can just hang out and get paid the same and not do the show, I would prefer to come and do the show. That will be me after power. Even if the night. show sucked like it often does with you. The- I still enjoy doing the show. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about this. <laughs> Look at your face, Mike. You cracked me. I hope you're proud. If you love these video clips... Head down there to the bottom right-hand side of the screen and click Join. For just $7.99 per month, you get full access to all of the episodes. Over 300 at current count. Full-length episodes of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, and Figure Four Daily with both Lance Storm and Filthy Tom Lawler. You can also hit that subscribe button, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows are available.